Hello all, all business central developers. Sorry for the delay for this one. I've been out and sick for a while, but let's continue. I'm back. So where we left on this part is we did walk through around how to set up the data verse integration. We did talk about how to set up the CRM integration. We did did talk about how to uh, do the data synchronization between the entities from business central to CRM. Today we are going to talk about when we are thinking about a integration, the entities that exist in business central, we were able to sync them to CRM and let me share my screen for that. So if you look at it, all our customers who are here and I did it later because it was not happening at that time. If you look here on the accounts in CRM, and if you filter out this list with, uh, if I can, let me see. Oh no, I cannot. So let me try changing the filter here and say customers. Because in CRM, account can be a customer, vendor, and other things, right? So if you look at it, uh, our uh, customer number thousand which is Editim Corporation or Terry Research, you'll find all these customers here. You, like ReCloud is a customer in Business Central, which is available here. And we can also check it that if we change a value of this record here, let's say if I change the phone number to be, um, let's say, uh, 635, okay? And as soon as I come out of it, it should trigger the integration and the value should get changed here for this recloud customer the phone number should change so let's refresh this list let's go back to customer let's search for that particular customer still not yet updated it'll take its own time as the crm synchronization kind of kicks off and it'll update that value here in a while but now while this is happening while the sync is happening the job queues are running Let's talk about the other thing, which is that we have all these entities or all these customer records also available in CRM and they don't exist in my business center. And for an actual sync to work, anytime a record that exists in CRM should also exist in business central if it's a bi-directional sync entity, which a customer is or a vendor is. So in this quick video, we'll try to understand how you kind of synchronize these changes that you have in your CRM back into Business Central so that the sync kind of works. So if you see right now, the sync have updated the phone number here in CRM as it was in Business Central. Now, if you remember in our initial conversation, we did talk about some virtual tables that get created inside Business Central to represent the CRM entity and you can just search for them with the word data words. The entities that you will find here will be the entity name that they exist in CRM. So a customer or a vendor entity is represented as an account entity in CRM. So if I'm looking for customers, I should look for an account entity, which is this. Now once I see that entity and I open that, I'll see all the record that exists in CRM, not in Business Central, okay? It's also in the Business Central. The only thing that I'll have to apply on this also, because it is from the account table, that I'll have to apply to see a field called relationship type, if it is set to customer. As I said, there are different things that you can have on an account. If I filter it for customer, I'll see all the accounts which are tagged as customers in CRM. Now at this point, what I'm seeing is customer and the way our synchronization is set up based on the relations type customer, it will automatically create them as customer. Now in here, you'll also see a field that is it coupled or not. That means is it has been coupled to a business central entity or not. And if not, then you can couple it. So like these top five, are my business central entities and they are already coupled which we did in the previous video now let's pick adventure work and let's try to sync it so you just need to come here and click on this action called create in business central 
the synchronization has been scheduled and it start running let's pick the second one and do a create in business central same here let's pick this one and i'm just taking some random ones you can you should be doing all of these and as i did three of them as you can see these are changing to yes as i'm moving to the other records let's say contoso one also created business central these will then get created in my business center environment so create in business center contoso pharma and as i come into my customer entity back and i refresh this entity in my business center i'll be able to see that i have more and more customer which right now are also coupled with CRM at this moment. Any changes that I do in either of the system on these entities, they will be reflected into the other system. In the same way, if you have to synchronize vendors from CRM, right now you see only these, some of these and then one of these, you will again search for the entity called Dataverse account. Okay. And then this time you will apply a filter on relationship type as vendor. You will see all the vendor entities which are pretty small in CRM or less in CRM. You will see that some of them are coupled. The ones which are not coupled will have to do the same thing as we did in the previous one. Let's do a create in business central. Let's pick the another one create in business central. Let's do the other one also. So once you have made sure that all your entities which exist in either of the system are synchronized, then you are ready for a full fledged synchronization to the target system. So if you see now most of these entities, this one is not. So I'll just do this also. OK, once I've done that, I'll come back here, refresh my vendor page. And I'll see all my entities are also created here and they all are coupled. So at this point, if I make any change, so if I change uh, the phone number here for this subcontractor, and you can, the only field that will synchronize is based on is it defined on that synchronization schedule or not or in the list or not. So if I define a phone number, okay. For uh, subcontractor one, the vendor, I should be able to see this vendor with this phone number in my CRM. At this time, I'll refresh the entity again in my CRM and this time I'm looking for my vendors. As I look for my vendor, I'm looking for a vendor where the number is 2312513, not yet updated, it'll take its own time as the sync kind of triggers and that update will be available here on that particular vendor as it gets synchronized as you can see it just got updated in the same way it's vice versa if i change things here i will go back on this entity and update that entity in business central okay let's do a save here it'll take its own course and there is a duplicate record found what is that this is the crm thing uh, Okay, uh, I'll just ignore it because there are two subcontractors in the dummy data. So that's okay. And let's go back. You can see the number is changed here. Let's go back here. Try to refresh our vendor entity. It may take time because the, uh, the synchronization from CRM to Business Central happens on a job queue, which takes its own course when it happens. So if you have a bi-directional sync entity like customer or vendor, you need to make sure that both the system have similar records and you have synchronized all your records from both the system to the other system. How you do it from uh, the business central to CRM, uh, we have seen that just by defining uh, the relationship between them or you can create new in CRM. Okay. If you have uh, new records in CRM, which need to be synchronized, then you need to go to the virtual table or the temporary, or, yeah, virtual table that gets created in Business Central and click the action to create that record in Business Central. Once you have done it for all the entities, which are based on the synchronization time, 
you are good to go with your synchronization now if this is not yet updated i'll also tell you a trick to trigger that so now this entity is still not updated so what i'll do can do is i can go to synchronize and do a synchronize of it and here i get the option to send data updates to data words that my the first option tells me that my business central data takes priority the second one says get data updates from data words which means at this point i'm trying to pull the data from my crm environment to this and then the third one is merge data so i'll click ok because i want to get some update from crm and as soon as that happens the synchronization currently is scheduled otherwise as we have seen in the job queues it runs on a schedule of 30 minutes so right now it's running and as soon as that completes i should be go back able to go back to my vendor and see the update has been completed so this is how you try to keep your entities in sync which are bi-directional and once you have synchronized all your entity at least bi-directional entities both ways and the unidirectional entities or setups has been updated in both the system you are good with your integration in the next video in the series what we'll see is what if if you have a custom field let's say in business central and you want to synchronize that to your CRM entity what are the steps in that and then the last one that has been requested by one of the person will also see how you can actually sync a whole new table and make it part of your integration setup so that every time you install your extension your new entities are also part of it so stay connected there are approximately two more videos coming into this and let me know if you have any questions add them into the comments your comments act as command and we make videos based on your comments if you like the content hit the like button if you think others will learn something out of this video do share this video on your social media network and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so because there are so many of you who are watching this video thank you for that but you are not hitting that subscribe button that helps us to understand how we are doing and it also helps you to get notified whenever a new video is posted because sometime because of my busy schedule i'm not publishing these videos on social media so if you are subscribed you'll get notified as soon as the video is posted so see you next time thank you and have a great day